Alhamdulillah Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man ihtada bi hudah Ya ayuhal limina amanu taqullah haqqa tuqati wa la tamutunna Illa wa antum muslimun Before we start, let me ask a quick question The, the management brothers Is there meat in the breakfast? Huh? Meat, yes. We don't want English breakfast, right? Huh? You don't agree with that? All praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and peace and blessings upon his beloved Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. Respected brothers, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who brought us together in his house, house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised those who come to Allah's house subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as I said, Rijalun, La tulhihim tijaratun, wa la bay'un an dhikrillahi wa iqami salah. Men. It doesn't distract them. Business. From the prayers of from the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And performing their praise. And we I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of us to be among those. Secondly, as we have a lot of youngsters, we all know the purpose of our existing is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we all can say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create jinn nor mankind except to worship me. مَا أُرِدُ مِنْ رِزْقُ وَمَا أُرِدُ أَنْ يُطْعِمُونَ I do not want them to provide for me, and I do not want them to feed me. Who says that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then ibadah is the purpose behind our creation. But do we understand the concept of the ibadah, which is only salah, zakah, fasting, and so on? No. It's beyond that. When Shaykh al-Salaam rahimahullah defined the ibadah, he said kalima. contains everything Allah loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything Allah loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then we need to take care of that. And the main thing is to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, our sustainer our provider, the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala, to know him properly and to understand the concept of God, the concept of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to build your ibadah on a solid foundation that it cannot be shaped by any atheist or any disbeliever who throws some doubts in your mind and then you become all over the place even and, 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 and you don't know how to answer and, and you don't know how to reject that falsehood because you do not build your foundation on a solid knowledge then the most one that I advise myself and my brothers is to know your Lord 
after that, prepare yourself, my son, my brother. How are you going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We all going to die. If I ask our youngest and our oldest, I will reply, all of us, is that we are all going to die. No doubt about that. But death and death difference. To die on the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to die, to die while you are worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to die in a good state in Allah's eyes subhanahu wa ta'ala, is something that nothing can value. That's why Abu Rasulullah Sallallahu said in the authentic hadith, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالْخَوَاتِينَ إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ Indeed, the action depends on the ending. How you ended up. That's why sometimes when you hear some of the mashayikh, some of the imams, some of the ulama, some of the righteous people, they say they died on, you say, oh Allah, I wish to be like these people. Somebody in jihad, somebody in salah, somebody in teaching, somebody lecturing, somebody leading the prayers, and that's how they ended up. Then you think about it and then you say, Oh Allah, make me among those. Because my brothers, the day of selection is not it's, it's not an easy matter. That's Allah SWT said, Balisa'atu mawiduhum. Balisa'atu mawiduhum. Indeed, the salah. Is their time. Wasa'atu adha wa amar. And the sa'a. It's more dangerous and more bitter than anything before that. What is the things that before that the sakaratul maut the steep of the death the hardship of the death imagine your prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what he's gone through and then you think about yourself in bukhari abdullah ibn mas'ud enters where the rasulullah was laying down And then he touched his forehead. And then he found his, his boiling. And then he said, Ya Rasulullah, Inna katu'aku wa'kan shadidan. Oh, you are, you are in, a, in a strong pain. Then the Salaam said, Inni u'aku kama yu'aku rajulani minkum. The hardship that I'm going through is the hajj of two of you. Khayri khalqillah. Marra in that situation. You and me, where are we standing? And he says, alayhi salatu wassalam, ah, inna lil mawti la sakarat. May the death has a hardship. The death has a hardship. What have I prepared? How am I going to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's waiting for all of us. 
And Imam Al-Qurtubi said in his book of At-Tadkira Fi Ahwal Al-Mawta Wa Amur Al-Akhira In his book he mentioned the hardship and the steep of the death is more painful than 1,000 swords get together in one go in your body. Just think about it. 1,000 swords gets together in one hit in your body. So the steep of the death is harder and more painful than that. Then my brother, we need to prepare. We need to prepare how to how we're gonna face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is next? It's the qabr. The grave. And that's what you need to, that's what we need to reflect on. Allah is saying, "But the hour of their death, and the hour is their appointment, is their meeting time, is their time, and it's harder and more bitter than everything past before." The grave, that two meter square. which used to make the self cry. Your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Hadith of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud in Musnad Imam Ahmed, with that, for the, في موت عبد الله ذو البجارين, the Sahabi that who died when they were, when they were traveling, and Ibn Mas'ud said, I got up, I checked. The matter of the, the matters of the Prophet said, I found it cold. And in the desert, that means this person got up very early. He said, I checked it, he's not there. I checked Abu, Abu Bakr, he's not there. I checked Umar, he's not there. And I said, I said what's going on? I looked for them. I found a light in one of the corners. He said, I went to that light. What did he find? Janaza. The Prophet ﷺ, Abu Bakr and Umar, graves being dig. And then he said, I, I come, and then I, I asked, Janaz to Manhadi, Ya Rasulullah. Who is this body? Who is the person who died last night? Then they say, he said, Salam replied, Hadi Janaz Akhik Abdullah Idul Bajadin. This is the Janaz of your brother, Abdullah Idul Bajadin. He passed away last night while you were sleeping. Then Salam went down to the grave and he said, Adliyali Sahibakuma. Pass me the body of your, your friend. They pass it to him. He put him down. Your brother Salam cried. Then he said, Alayhi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in Al Qabr Dhamma, the graveyard. In Al Qabr Dhamma. The grave holds and hugs tight. 
if there was someone who's going to be safe from that, the Najamin has Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad. That great Sahabi, Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad, was going to be safe from that if, there's, if there was someone who's going to be saved from that, but no one. And he cried, alayhi salatu wassalam. And he said, Allahumma inna say anhu rad farda anhu. Oh Allah, he passed away this evening, and I'm pleased with him. Be pleased with him, oh Allah. It is the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. It's not dua of any one of us. Then this grave make the Prophet وسلم, cry. And the Sahaba they used to cry. Uthman ibn Affan, whenever he comes to the graveyard with any janazah, he comes walking and he used to go back to his house people carrying him crying from the beginning to the end until he cannot stand on his foot and then the, the sahaba they used to carry him to his house that's waiting for all of us And what is after that? The questions which we all know. And our Prophet ﷺ gave it to us. Ready. On a golden plate. These are the questions. Prepare to answer for it. Your Lord, your Prophet, your Deen. Prepare it. Be ready for it. And it's not by chance. The one who used to follow Allah's way, Allah will make it easier for him. And the one who used to play, he will suffer on that day. Questions, Munkar and Nakir, the way they look, the way the, the person will answer, and how the situation is, is a long story which is, is not for a few minutes, a reminder. Well, my, my advice to myself and to, my, to all my brothers to prepare for that moment. Get ready for it. And as we said, the Qiyamah is after that. And it's not an easy matter as Allah Taala explained. My brothers, as there's question here, there's also questions there. The hadith of Tirmidhi, which is authentic hadith, the Prophet said, and I'm, 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 I'm going to end it up here. لا تزول قدماء عبد من عند ربه يوم القيامة حتى يصل أربع وفي الوقت حتى يصل خمس and one is صحيح and one is حسن there's no one is going to move in front of Allah سبحانه وتعالى until he answers four questions and then the other uh, the other narration is five questions anyway you need to prepare those questions how to answer to Allah سبحانه وتعالى because none of us is going to move in front of Allah سبحانه وتعالى until he answers this question Your knowledge that you learned from Allah Taala's Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Your wealth. How did you get it? And how did you spend? How do you spend? We will be questioned. Your lifespan. From the day you become mature. 
to the last day you've been taken to your graveyard, Allah will ask you and also a particular question about your youth time. And those who have this chance, my brothers who are still youth, my sons who are still youth, you have a good chance to fix yourself. You have a good chance to be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The day there is no shade except the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That day that we're talking about. Shabu nasha fi ibadatillah. One of the seven people who say under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a youngster who grew up in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't miss that chance. And don't take it light. And the last question in the other narration is about your body. Your body is amana. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm going to do whatever I want to do with it. It's my body. No, it's not yours. It's an amana. It's been bestowed to you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's going to deal with you how you're going to treat that body. If you're going to waste that body, these eyes, these ears, the rest of your body, every part of your body, you will be questioned. May Allah guide us all. May Allah protect us all. And among those who prepare themselves, how we're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah make, make, make easy for all of us. the steeper and the hardship of the death, the grave, and the questions in the grave, and also the questions on the day of resurrection. وَجَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى بِنَا حَمْدُ اللَّهُ عَلَى بِنَا حَمْدُ اللَّهُ عَلَى بِنَا ح